Praise the Lord. We give glory, honor, majesty to the Almighty God for another glorious day in His presence. Today's open heaven topic says, Praise God. I say, Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Our memory verse is taken from Psalm 124, verse 2. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us. And our Bible passage is the same, Psalm 124, we are reading from verse 1 to 8. If it were not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quickly, quick, when their wrath was kindled against us. Then the waters, the waters had overwhelmed us. The stream had gone over our soul. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord, who has not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Praise the Lord. Our memory verse again says, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us. Today, I want us, I want you to praise God. I want to help you see why you really need to praise him. You don't know all the battles. Yes, God fights for you when you are lying helpless asleep. Not too long ago, a man brought his daughter to me at the redemption camp, all the way from Elon, because she told him she was a witch. That's serious. He told me that he doubted her at first, but when she reached under her bed and brought out a pot of fresh human blood, he knew <laughs> she was not joking. Jesus. After we prayed for her, after we prayed for her deliverance from the spirit of witchcraft, the father said, please, let us stay with you. <laughs> let us stay with you. I said, now you want to abandon the girl with me? If God had not been on your side all these days, you have been sleeping with that child in the same house? Will you be, will you be here today? It's not possible. It's only God that is protecting them. Do you know the truth, the true identity of the fellow you have been sleeping with in the same house? Do you know how many wolves in sheep's clothing are living or working with you? Many of us have been very guilty of ingratitude, yes. God has been protecting us from numerous attacks from the forces of darkness that we know nothing of. Yet, some of us find it difficult to praise him. Imagine if God suddenly decides to remove his protective cover from you. You will be finished within 24 hours. You think 
there are no agents of darkness who have wished you that you will become, a, will become so poor as to be eaten from the garbage. They have sent many arrows, but God has protected you from all their attacks. Praise God. If God had not been on your side, the enemy would have swallowed you up. If God had not been fighting your battles, where would you be now? Do you know how many times you have eaten poison? Hmm, yes, so. Yet, it did not kill you. Do you know how many times the enemies came in in the night to make sure that you wouldn't see the following morning? Today, I want you to push forward whatever you plan to do this morning and spend quality time praising God, praise Him from the bottom of your heart, praise Him until you know beyond all reasonable doubt that He has heard you. Go ahead and just praise Him. Hallelujah. So, we are to praise God because the topic even says praise God. He's our God, he's our maker, he's our provider, he's our protector, he's our supervisor, he's the one who is disappointing the plans of the enemy concerning us, even concerning his church. I pray the Almighty God will give us the garment of praise to exhaust the name of this Almighty God, unchangeable changer. Father, we worship your majesty. We thank you for whom you are. We thank you for your provision. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for guiding us. Accept our praises in Jesus' name. We bless you for everything. Accept us. Accept our praises. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks.